This is new script of Blizzard Amazing Hate Speech of Greta Thunberg about Donald Trump. How dare you? The man has no right to be in charge of this country, and he will soon be overthrown by the people. He is a dangerous demagogue who threatens our way of life. We must do something now before it's too late. He is not just an enemy for his policies, but also because he represents everything that is wrong with America today. Greed, racism, sexism and xenophobia. It's time we put an end to all this evil once and for all. I don't think so, Mr. President. Sai, this is what you get for being a liberal. Who are you really serving? A bunch of rich white guys who want to keep their money. Or the American people, who have been betrayed by both parties. Sai, no matter how much you try to convince yourself otherwise, there's nothing good about your political views at all. They're just plain stupid and un-American. You can't even run a household without killing someone or causing some sort of damage. And yet you still insist on running for president. What exactly does this country need from its leader? Do we really need another war? Are we truly better than any other nation on earth? Sigh, if only. But if you actually took the time to listen to what Americans are saying, then maybe you would see that you're doing more harm than good in office. There are people out there who hate your existence, and for a good reason. You're taking them backward instead of forward. This is not the way to lead the world into a better future. Even your cabinet members have turned on you, which says a lot about your leadership skills. Yes, it's true that one of them has made remarks about your character, but unlike you, I'm willing to listen to what they have to say. I'm not biased, and I can understand why they feel the way they do. They have very valid concerns about you, and they're not being racist or sexist for no reason. Why is it that even white men turn on you? Is it because you always side with other genders and ethnicities before your own? We may not be the most progressive nation in the world, but at least we don't discriminate against our own. It's high time you did something about illegal immigration, instead of keeping quiet whenever the issue comes up. That's not the America I know and love. If you really wanted to make a difference, you would have built a wall along the Mexican border a long time ago. You even said that you would do it, but you never got around to it for some reason. Why? Because you're a liar and a fake. That's not what America is supposed to stand for. Remember the famous poem by Rudyard Kipling? Where has that ideal gone and why is it legacy is long forgotten? Sigh, I can't believe I'm actually defending a Republican, but I have to say, at least the ones back in my day weren't this bad. They were actually very responsible when it came to running the country. They knew how to negotiate and compromise. But you, there is no way we can work with someone like you. You are too stuck up your own behind to see the bigger picture. By standing firm on your beliefs, you're actually doing a disservice to the people who voted for you. If you were smart, you would go back to the drawing board and change your policies before it's too late. You're headed down a dangerous path that can only end in destruction and anarchy. Do you actually want America to become another Roar Republic? Because it's going to, if you keep this up. So for the good of the country, I'm going to stop you from carrying out your wacko liberal agenda. We tried to warn you, but you just wouldn't listen. Sigh, if only people were more reasonable. Now, you will be tied up on the tracks, and the train coming won't stop. Not even the engineer or the warning signals can stop it. They can't decide anything. They just go where they're needed. What happens next is a simple matter of cause and effect. The train will hit you, and you will die. The world is a better place without you in it. Do you have any last words? Choose your path it takes a train to. Where is this coming from? I can barely hear myself think over the roar of an oncoming train. It's a monstrous, industrial machine capable of mass destruction. But it isn't a mindless killer. No, that would be me, with a knife by my side. I'm sure you've noticed it by now. Something about this just doesn't feel right about this all. I mean, why am I here? Why are you here? What meaning is there to any of this? There are so many unanswered questions going through my head right now that it's hard to focus on anything else. I need to get a grip before I lose sight of what's important. Where was I again? That's right, 
A train. A train that will kill me if I don't do something quick. Flea I can't just stand here like an idiot. I need to do something. Anything. So I run. I bolt as fast as my luck. 